object. Okay, now that's done, you can convert it to a poly. And you think we'd be pretty close, but if you actually look, that's not the way we want our uh, polygons to be shown. So if you come down here, and click on delete isolated vertices, so that's not ticked. And that way you can delete all of that, those spaces, and it will leave the vertexes in place. simply create the vertexes in the shapes you want. Like so. Okay, this is uh, just going to take a bit of a repetitive task, so I'm going to speed this up and uh, I'll see when I'm done. Okay, so as you can see now we have the proper shape in the polygons for what we want to do with them. So if you switch over into uh, edit vertex mode and I'm just going to change the selection tool to this freeform one lasso tool select all those outside vertexes select all those outside vertices and simply pull them down like so now select the second row of vertexes like so let's make sure we've got the right ones, yes and pull them down as well. Now, I'm going to just uh, turn on wireframe mode here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a slight kink. See how that angle, there's an angle there? I'm just going to give the light something to bounce with rather than just having it completely smooth. Okay, so there's the top of our diamond. All done. Okay, so here's our backed up ingon. Let me just bring that right in there like that. With the align to world function as I showed you before by right clicking. What I'm doing now is assigning the bottom material. And now we basically have the exact same procedure we just did. Instead of using an ingon, we use a star. And as I said before, a star is actually just an angle. I'm going to just make that bigger so we can see. See? There you go. See, it's the same as an angle, it's just got a second row of vertices. Or a second radius. Anyway, so it's the exact same procedure. We're creating uh, a star that'll fit inside the Engon and give us a row of points for which to create our faces. Now, let's make sure that's, yeah, that's in the center. Let's 
it's eight pointed star. And remember what I said before, if you rotate eight sided angons by 20.5, they flatten, which is exactly what happens there. And let's make that 40. The second row doesn't really matter, we don't need those because the engon on the outer rim there is going to make it, so we'll just keep that low. Really hope that uh, the guy chainsawing out the back isn't coming through on this. Okay, so. Let's hide that and get to work. I'll uh, speed this up again since it's just a simple matter of oops, a simple matter of uh, repeating what we'd already done. Oh, actually, there's one one extra thing. Just convert this to a little poly. Same as before. Untick delete isolated vertices and delete that. So now we have all the vertices ready, but we actually need a vertex in the center. So just clone a vertex. And once again, using the align to well, we can stick that right in the center of the object, no ifs or buts. Of course, before we continue, uh, just remember that this second set of vertexes here isn't necessary. That's left over from the that star, and we don't need this at all. So now we can go to our create and simply build our mesh. Now we just have to flip these around because. This is actually the underside of the object we're looking at. If you wanted to, you could align it along the minimum of that object and have it right down the bottom like so. Now all you need to do is simply select these outside vertexes. Pull them up like so. That's about right. And then select that second row of vertexes. Remember not to select the center. And also pull them up. Now, once again, I'm just going to go into wireframe for a tiny kink. So there's a little bit more dynamics going on with the lighting at render time. And now the diamond's almost complete, you can see it coming into form now. So I'm going to actually attach these together, but I'm going to attach from the bottom one as its vertex is right down the center there in a nice neat spot. And then just load up the shapes. And you want to connect these two shapes. You need to do that, you use the bridge command. So open up the dialog by clicking the little window. Make sure the tape is at zero, bias is at zero, smooth is at zero, segments is at one, and hit OK. And there is our diamond.